This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, or that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think and see me analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false, but it gives a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, FINRA seems to be under pressure from that appeal that MMTLP put in. And I'm going to tell you something. Based on what I'm reading, FINRA is very, very concerned about this lawsuit. They are throwing the brokers under the bus and blaming the brokers for what happened with MMTLP. Okay? They're claiming that they have no actual knowledge indicating <laughs> that, that they were engaged in a legal activity. But that is absolute nonsense. FINRA knew exactly what was going on. And FINRA should have never, never issued MMTLP the symbol so that it could trade because it violated their own FINRA rules. Rule 6490 has very strict guidelines when a stock is able to be traded. And MMTLP didn't meet three of these five guidelines. And they still allowed the stock to be traded. Now they're trying to throw the brokers under the bus. But how are they going to explain that they gave it the symbol in the first place when it didn't qualify for a symbol, according to FINRA's own rules. And you know why they were able to do that? Because FINRA is owned by the hedge funds. FINRA is not a government agency. They run like a government agency, but they are owned by the hedge funds. The hedge, the hedge funds control FINRA. So they are going to put... Any stock, whether it qualifies or not for sale, as long as their buddies can benefit and they can rob retail investors. The bottom line is this. Based on what I'm reading, FINRA knows that if the Court of Appeals forces them to turn over those blue sheets, if the Court of Appeals starts looking into their behavior, looking into how MMTLP Got that symbol to trade contrary, contrary to FINRA's own rules and guidelines. More than likely, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any stock, more than likely, DOJ and FBI are going to be knocking on some people's doors. Because it's going to move from being a civil case to a criminal case. Because it appears to me that criminal fraudulent activity was at foot because MMTLP should have never been trading in the first place. They didn't have the requisite rules in place to be traded. They should have never been issued a symbol to trade. And everybody knows that. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that FINRA is afraid that this civil lawsuit is about to turn criminal because they violate their own rules to let MMTLP be traded. Anyway, have a great